hi guys hi guys and everyone welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in a very very welcome so yeah guys if you are new here my name is Piri Le Papra and thank you so much for tuning into Piri Le Papra's entertainment you yeah, are very very welcome so if you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing like the video and just put your notification bells on you guys for future videos uh yeah guys so if uh, that button is still red that one that says subscribe please press it and uh Keep it grey, please. Keep it grey. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. Uh, let us just discuss this one quickly. I want to discuss this thing that I've been, I've been seeing. I think since when last week, it's been happening. I mean, I was just ignoring it. Uh, and of course, everything that I'm going to say about this, it is alleged, you guys, because I saw it going around online, uh, talking about Oputubong and Madondo. We know him as Usfiso. Uh, Usfiso Ntuli uh, when it comes to Skim Sam and Uputika Mamtuli. Yo, Mamtuli guy one. So on Skim Sam, he is Usfiso Ntuli. And his real name is Ubongani Madondo, you guys. Uh, I, I've seen this man about him uh, running over uh, the child with his car and something like that. I don't know what happened, but because I'm like, okay, let's just discuss it. Let's just talk about it. Uh, why would a uh, brother uh, run over someone and do not want to take responsibility? You guys, I see they're talking about the police. And I'm going to read you the story from UMTN uh, News, but I've seen it in uh, a lot of pages where I've seen people talking about Upoti, Ubongani Madondo, you guys. So let me see here. They said, Skim Sam actor Madondo accused of knocking tin with car. So Ubongani Madondo, who plays Fiso on Skim Sam, is accused of threatening a pupil after knocking her while driving on the wrong lane. Oh, he was driving on the wrong lane. And then he knocked uh, a, a school a, a school child, a, a teen. So let me see. They carry on and say a pupil from uh, M. Shukandambo. M. Shukandambo is a secondary school in um, Pimville, Zone 1 in Soweto, has accused the scheme some actor Bongani Madondo of knocking her with his car and showing no remorse. And then they say, according to City Press, the actor who is best known for his role as Fison Tuli on the SAPC One educational drama threatened the grade 11 learner after uh, the accident and proceeded to open a case against her. I thought the, the girl is the one who opened a case against Uput Madondo. So now Uput Madondo is the one who opened a case. Like this is something else, right? Let me go back to that paragraph. They said, according to City Press, the actor who is best known... <coughs> Sorry, because I'm still coughing. <laughs> this weather, this winter, hey? So according to City Press, uh, the actor who is best known uh, for his role as Fiso and Julie on SAPC One Educational Drama threatened the great living Lena after the accident and proceeded to open a case against her. Wow. So the publication reports that the incident took place uh, last week when Madondo was with his partner and his child who attends the same school. Okay. Now I understand. So according to the learner who, who narrated the story on Instagram and Facebook, Madondo was driving on the wrong lane. This man bummed me on purpose. His car was not in the right lane. He uh, continued to drive in my direction even when I tried to walk on the pavement. He then got out of his car and started swearing at me. He said, do you know who I am? Well, I want to get out. Do you know who I am? Hey, let me see. Then we talk about that. And do you know who I am and what I am capable of? Said the teen. Oh, the teen is the one that said, do you know who I am? Let me see. The, he, he then got out of his car and started swearing at me. He said, do you know who I am and what I am capable of? Said the teen. So he allegedly continued. You can take pictures. I don't care. Mina nya ishaisa inja. Hey, oh, that's what he said. The way I like him so much when it comes to skim sam. He said, I will knock a dog. That's, that's the translation. So the pupil's father headed to the Clip Town police station in Soweto and opened a, a counter case against Madondo for driving into her. So however, the skim sam actor denies hitting her with his car. He allegedly claimed that he hit her back and if she didn't have earphones on, the accident would have been avoided. So the girl also had my earphones on. 
he denied everything so they they the police said there won't be a case but they said i should delete my post on instagram and facebook my dad told uh them they would not be removed the police took our statements in separate rooms and said we should call to get a case number they put our statements in one docket i don't know why said the pupa Oh, this story, you guys. So now, uh, this this grade 11 learner said, Uputmongan Madondo M, hit her with a car and he get out and said, do you know who I am? Do you know what I'm capable of? Something like that. So he was rude to her. And then uh, the people says he was driving on the wrong lane. He drove uh, to to her side and hit her. So now Uputmongan Madondo Uti, he just hit the bag, not the person. And the girl had earphones on. But why was he on the wrong lane? I, I just do not know because I'm not taking sides because umtana uti uputu beku wrong lane. Umtana uti yeah umtana uti uputu beku wrong lane. Wamshai sa maswomo that's what she said. And uputu uti umtana beka na my earphones on and all that. Like I don't know, man, you guys. So this thing, uh, the police said there is no case. That's what they are saying here. They took their statements, but basically they are going case into Uganda. So it is a lot, man. Uh, so uh, I, I believe here uh, Putbong and Madondo has uh, his child goes to the same school as that um, other child. So maybe he was dropping off his child or maybe picking up something like that uh, because they said he was with his partner and his child in the car. Whether they were going to drop the child or whether they were coming to fetch, they didn't clarify that. But then he then hit this other child who was on the road. But the child says he was driving on the wrong lane and started blaming the child for. For putting earphones on and for maybe for not really, really looking at the cars, we have more harm. And they always say, as putting earphones on with a little music and you're on the road, that can really cause you problems because you are not going to hear the car coming, even if the car is on the wrong lane. Man, I'm on my earphones. So, so, what do we use? I'm going to go to the motor. So, I'm going to something like that. No, man, I'm going to go to the wrong lane. So, what do we use if you do not have your earphones on and all that? But then, if you have your earphones on, then you can't hear anything because when you are, you know. Your ears are closed. You can only hear uh, your, your music, whatever you are listening to. So Uputi uh, allegedly hit this child, of which he denies. Uti, I got a wash. I say, it's a school bag, not Umuntu. And Umuntu, you know, oh, guys, like in the story. So she had the pictures on social media. And Uputi Bongan said, they must uh, just remove those pictures. And the father of the girl says, no, we are not removing those pictures. It's just, it's a, it sounds like a long story, you know. So it is a lot, you guys. I do not know what happened. When it comes to Putbong and Madondo, like I told you, I've been seeing this story going around. Um, I do not know. Maybe she, she obviously she didn't get hit, as he's saying he hit the bag, something like that. But Oksala, he did hit her, even if he hit the bag. But luckily, Agali Malanga and all that. But maybe they might have to sit down. If if the police say they have no case, it's a matter of sitting down and apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I do not know you guys when it comes to that. But Umteto when I do when Ziwaranja and Magunjena. If the police say there is no case, that means you see a case, umtana, and the matter under a case. So much, what is the way forward? Something like that. That's why I'm saying maybe the conclusion in doing one you look pansy, put put matter under apologize. Umtana na basal, umtana end. Now umtana, if umtana was on the road with earphones on. They need to be taught to do on a hand and you know with your earphones on. You can get hit, you can really be hit by a car because I was a lot to always the guy is either especially the ones that are coming behind you. You can't even hear, you know, even if the one that is coming, if you are concentrating on what is playing here, you know, especially teenagers, something like that. You can really, really be hit by a car. It's more with you guys. So it is very important to do and be careful. <laughs> My light just went off, you guys. Um, I was using my laptop to to and plug my light. I plugged my light on the laptop, so the laptop maybe the battery uh, went off. Uh, let me just. Sorry, you guys. I did plug my light on my laptop, and it just went off before I can finish my video. But yeah, I was already on the end of the video. Oh, you guys, let us just be careful when you are working on the road. When when you are working, <laughs> yeah. When you are walking on the road, and just yeah, make sure you don't play music, fuck my earphones, and all that for such incidents. It it could have been bad. Luckily, she he didn't uh, hurt her or anything since they're talking about hitting the bag. So what if he really, really, he, she was hurt? What if she was hit by this car, like, while the man was putting his bed in and all that? It, it is really bad. Don't put your earphones on when... I, I've, I've done that.
before, but I'm sorry. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it's, it's important we teach each other. Guys, you can easily, easily be hit by a car because you can't hear any vehicle coming, something like that. Now, you put Matondo, Mangabe, since they are saying he was um, on the wrong lane. I mean, why are you driving on the wrong lane? You know, and why are you coming out of the car and saying, Do you know who I am? Because we've heard such stories of these people, especially about says why. Do you know who I am? I know nothing. We are who we are. Do not do that. Do not always say that. Do you know who I am? Yeah, of course, I know you as Fison Tuli, but you are not Fison Tuli now. You are Bongani Madondo, and don't do that. Don't say that, you know. So, something like that, you guys are against Young Kelly, but, but besides that, he is someone that I really love so much when it comes to his game. So, I'm Oput Bongani Madondo. I love that character a lot, but, anyways, it is what it is. An accident happened. I really wish they can just find solution. I do not know what the solution was since the police said no case. That's what that's what I hate here. So let us hope they find a solution to that, you guys. And yeah, what can I say? Your thoughts though on the comment section about that. And yeah, like the video and don't forget to not put your earphones MK and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. You guys like the video. Please do like my videos, you guys. Guys, why is it that you do not like videos? So, how can I see 100 views but 3 likes? Like, come on, guys. Please consider liking the video before you can just leave. It does help a lot when it comes to the algorithm and all that, you know. Like, like when you're watching the video, you like it. When you watch the video, you like it. Especially if you love us, if you love this channel. You like it, you video, you see the algorithm. You know, you can see the algorithm, something like that. So, Consider liking BCA we have for a notification bell go on so that each and every time when I upload a video, you are the first one to get it. Imagine the movie book nice and fresh from me, something like that. Uh, just after uploading it, you get the video and then you watch, you watch. So please consider liking and putting your notification bells on when it comes to our channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I'll meet you again then on my next upload. I love you so much. Bye.